2011, the American Dialectic Society made AP the Word of the Year for 2010, a great honor, signifying that the word is growing in popularity, as indicated by its trendy use in conversation and other media. However, just because a word is used a lot, it doesn't mean that it is well understood. So, what exactly is an app? Simply put, an app is a series of instructions bundled into a piece of software that enables you to perform a task on a digital device. App is a shortened form of the phrase software application. However, not only was the phrase shortened, but the bundle of capabilities built into the app is also smaller than that of more robust software applications, such as Microsoft Office. An app typically has a single use, such as taking notes, editing pictures, playing music, and so forth, rather than consisting of a bundle of complementary uses. Although an app can perform similar tasks to those performed by more robust software programs, the functionality built into an app is much more limited. For example, it's true that an app can translate input from a keyboard, stylus, or microphone into letters, words, and sentences as well as a word processing program can. But that's where the similarity typically ends with the app. The functionality in an app is much more limited. A note-taking app limits the user in terms of not only formatting and styling options, but also in other word processing tasks that are bundled into a more full word processing application. There are several types of apps native apps, web or online apps, and hybrid apps. Native apps are downloaded onto your personal device and are executed or controlled by the specific operating system of your particular device. Herein lies one of the difficulties of the native app. They are not compatible across operating systems used by different digital devices. Thus, Apps for Mac or Apple devices don't perform very well, if at all, on a Droid, PC, or Reader, and vice versa. Proprietary native apps force the user to buy a particular device if said user wants to enjoy the functionality of a particular app. A second type of app is the online or web app. To use this type of app, you must log in to a website. You don't download the app onto your computer or other device. Facebook and Twitter are web-based apps, although there are native apps that you download onto your computer to provide immediate access to such web-based apps. The program instructions that run Facebook and Twitter remain on their web servers not on your device. A third type of app is a hybrid app that involves some downloading of instructions to your device but also makes use of web-based technologies to run the app. For example, you may download an app onto your device to access Twitter or Facebook, but the actual program running Facebook and Twitter remains on their servers. Native apps are considered more personal and tend to outperform web-based apps. Also, web-based apps may be here today and gone tomorrow. Thus you have the simple answer to what is an app.